Hi, this is Thomas from Apex Game Tools. In this video, we're going to look at how we can move a unit around uh, through scripting. So the first thing to do is we have our agent, and right now it's just a mesh. So in order to be able to move him around, we're going to have to add the components needed. To do that, I'm just going to go to Apex Quick Starts, and then I'm going to select Navigating Unit. Now this will add all these uh, different components to my unit, which allows me to move this unit around. Um, so, having done that, we can go to the code editor. As you can see, I've prepared a small uh, mono behavior. Um, and what we're going to implement here is a very, very simple behavior that will just move the unit to some of the transform in the scene. So, I'm just going to start out by defining that transform. And next up, what I want to do is I want to get a reference to my unit. Um, but the reference I want to get is the reference to an iMovable interface. Um, iMovable is the interface that defines the various methods to move the unit around. And it has a number of other methods that allow you to stop, pause the unit's movement and resume movement and other stuff. We're going to see that in IntelliSense in just a second. So um, I'm just going to say, oops, unit keyboard isn't working uh, there we go um, so unit and I'm just gonna get a hold of that reference we have this um, shortcut in uh, apex path which allows me to um, do this as and then I will say I'm movable um, like this this will uh, well I just need to get a using on uh, the Apex um, space. There we go. Um, so this shortcut basically um, gets com the first component uh, it encounters um, on a given game object that implements a certain interface. So in this case, I'm going to get um, the component implementing iMovable, and I'm going to assign that to my unit. Um, and I do this in a wake since this is a s well, it's a s sort of a costly call. It will get component on each of the different money behaviors on the unit, and it will then see if it implements uh, iMovable. So do that um, in a wake. Now uh, next up, we'll simply do this in start. I mean, normally we would probably not uh, do this in start. It would have an update uh, procedure of some sort, um, but we're just going to keep it simple. Um, so what I want to do is I actually want to move my unit to this other unit. In order to do that, and now we can see the IntelliSense, um, I have my unit, and then I have these different um, options that I can select, um, some properties and some methods to call. Now you can get a full reference to the different methods, what they do. Um, in the API documentation. So what we're looking for is this one here, move to. So this allows me to set a destination for my unit, from, sorry, for my unit, and the destination we want is simply the other transform. Now the second option I have in this method is to append to a um, another move order. Um, this is basically setting waypoints. So if I set a pen to true, that means that I'm setting a waypoint. Obviously, if it's the first destination I'm setting, it will not be a waypoint, it will just be a destination. But if it already has one a destination, and when I continue setting more, I can say append, which will then add them as waypoints. If I set a pen to false, it will simply give it a new destination. So in this case, I'm just going to go with false because we're not actually going to give it more than one. So there we go, that's actually all you need to do. So it's pretty simple to make units move through a script. Saving this, uh, we're just going to go back to Unity. Uh, I'm going to add the component to my. Oh, I'm just going to let it compile. There we go. Going to add the component to my unit. And I'm just going to add some. Um, there we go, uh, something. Let's see, just going to add a capsule. Just move it somewhere up there, 
and I'm going to make it move there. So now when I start my scene, my unit, oh, let's just fix that camera real quick. there yeah there we go okay and maybe I should just ground this one and as you can see my unit just moves to the transform basic stuff it does so uh, using a path uh, which is obviously an important uh, point to make uh, just moving it from here to there would be a simple matter, but it actually, what it does is it actually gives it a path. Um, so let's just be sure that we also show that. So as you can see, it actually gets a path and then it starts moving. So there you go. Um, moving units through scripting is just two lines of code.